Hi guys, welcome back. What is my turtleneck doing? That's less irritating. Hi guys, welcome back to Irony Completed. Today's video is my October favourites. Yes, I can't believe it's the end of another month already. That makes me really sad. Really, really sad. Um, October is my favourite month of the year, so this is going to be kind of a long favourites because I have some kind of spooky stuff to talk about, some of my some movies and stuff that I've seen, and just a bunch of other stuff. Firstly, I'd like to apologise for this. I don't really know what's going on here. I tried a new foundation, I'm not sure if that's what broke me out or whether I was just hormonally breaking out or what, but I'm breaking out. Uh, first things first, let's talk about makeup, and within that, let's talk about Colourpop because Colourpop is something that I recently discovered, well not discovered, I knew about it, but I recently placed an order with them for the first time and I got quite a lot of stuff. If you want to see that video where I haul all the stuff then I will link it down in the description for you guys because I go into a hell of a lot more detail. So a lot of the stuff that I bought in that video is definitely, definitely a favourite this month, specifically the lip products. I, I bought a lot. These three are ultra matte lips, these two are ultra satins. I'll talk about the ultra satins first because I like the formula slightly less, but the colours that I got are absolutely beautiful. So firstly, the colour that I'm wearing on my lips right now is 0, .0 which is the Kathleen Lights collaboration with Colourpop. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's a really nice brown tone, it's kind of cool toned but not cool toned so that it makes you look washed out and kind of dead or anything like that. Kind of it looks a bit darker on my lips than it does on my hand, but I am wearing it today. It's an ultra satin formula, but as you can see, it looks pretty matte to me. The other colour that I got, which you should have seen in a tutorial that I posted recently, is Femme, which I absolutely adore. It's probably my favourite colour out of all of the ones that I got. It's just so unique and beautiful. It's like a grey toned purple. That is Femme swatched there. I really do enjoy the formula of these ultra satins. I bought them because I thought they might be slightly more comfortable than the ultra mattes, but actually I find that it's the other way around. The ultra mattes are a lot more comfortable and also a little bit easier to reapply. If I reapply these too much, they kind of feel a bit thick on my lips, probably because the formula of these is a little bit thicker and the ultra matte formula is incredibly, incredibly thin. Saying that, I do find them extremely comfortable. Um, just like I said, slightly more drying and kind of thick feeling on my lips. I do find them comfortable though, they last a super long time and I just really really enjoy the colours that I got so I would definitely recommend you guys check this out if you're into a slightly less matte looking lip. Frankly these are like two of my new favourite colours that I own like ever so you guys should definitely definitely have a look. And like I said I got three of the ultra matte lips. The first one is kind of a nudie colour and that's Beeper which I really really like. It's kind of similar to a Velvet Teddy by MAC kind of colour, kind of a rosy toned, warm toned brown. It's really, really flattering. It does dry slightly darker than it looks in the tube, as you can see. So I will pre-warn you guys that it isn't exactly as it looks in the tube, but um, I looked up swatches online, so I kind of knew that anyway. This is just really lovely. Um, I have worn this the most out of all of them because it just kind of goes with every single eye look that you do. It's so kind of neutral and wearable, but it's also dark enough that it's very seasonally appropriate with the kind of fall time and all that kind of stuff. The next colour is another one of my all-time favourites and probably my second favourite after Femme in terms of colours that I bought, and that is Mama. This is from the Fall Time collection by Colourpop. It's in the Burnt Oranges collection and it really is like a burnt orange red. It's kind of a rusty red is how I would describe it. It's a super, super wearable way. Oh my god. I spilled it on my jeans. I don't even know how that happened. I'm gonna have to put these in the wash, aren't I? Great. Other than the fact that I just spilt it on my trousers, uh, this is a really lovely colour. It's a really nice wearable way to rock an orange lip, and it's also a nice way to make the orange lip trend kind of trans seasonal. So, this is definitely an autumnal colour. But or orange, nah. but obviously orange lips are more popular in the summertime, so this is kind of a way to make it work for winter, and I really, really love it. I think it's so beautiful, definitely a must-have colour if you're into red-orangey kind of colours. And the last one that I got, which um, I really like the colour, I've worn it once, it's very dark and vampy, is Tool. I'm going to make the same mistake and spill it again. So that's Tool there, again it dries slightly darker than it looks in the tube, but it's a really 
really vampy purple absolutely beautiful for kind of the autumn winter time and if you want to rock a real vampy grungy kind of lip i really like it because it's kind of a muted purple so that's all the ultra mattes that i got um i really love the formula i've heard so so many things about it being kind of dry and cakey and flaky but i find the complete opposite to be true it's probably the most comfortable liquid lipstick i've ever worn and I've worn them from 8.30am till 5.30pm on a full day of uni and it didn't need touching up in the slightest, it was super super comfortable and it didn't even feel dry when I was taking my makeup off at the end of the night. That was Beeper that I wore all day and I've worn the other two colours out of an evening and not needed to touch them up in the slightest, they're super super long lasting but like i said incredibly incredibly comfortable last lip product that i got from colourpop which i do want to mention not because the formula is my favorite because frankly the formula is a little bit um thick for me maybe this is grunge lippy sticks it's one of the matte ones the reason i do want to mention this in this video though is because the color is absolutely stunning a really warm toned brown and on my lips it makes me look really vampy really 90s and grungy as the name would suggest but uh the formula isn't my absolute favorite i have matte lipsticks that i much prefer from urban decay and even I don't know, other brands like Maybelline and stuff. Not that I'd recommend buying from Maybelline. So as much as I love this colour and I definitely wanted to include it for the colour, I wouldn't necessarily recommend the formula because I find it gets really waxy and thick real quick. So it's not my absolute favourite. Although it does smell much nicer than any of the other products. It smells so good. While I'm on the Colourpop theme, I will also mention the eyeshadow that I bought in that haul, which is the Super Shock shadow in Sunset Boulevard. It's one of the K-pop shadows from the collection they did with K. Rouge. No idea how you pronounce her name. Uh, la, la, la. As you can see, it's a really beautiful warm toned gold. I kind of have a little bit of it on the inner corners of my eyes right now, but you'll see better how it looks in the actual Colourpop video that I did because I had it kind of all over my inner corner. I really love the texture of these eyeshadows. They're just really, really unique feeling to, to have no other way of describing it and really kind of soft and nice. And I really, really like them actually. Um, I'm definitely interested in getting more, especially in the shimmery finishes because I've heard the matte ones are a little bit harder to work with. But I would definitely be interested in getting more of them and this colour is just such an everyday kind of staple because it's so neutral and pretty and light. That's, that's it swatch there as you can see, it's just beautiful. I just have a couple more makeup products to mention and then I'll move on to other things. But sticking with the theme of eyeshadows, an eyeshadow that I'm obsessed with every single time that fall and winter come around is Bitten by Makeup Geek. It's probably my favourite Makeup Geek shadow, it's just so stunning and it's such a me colour. It's a very warm toned, brown toned red, so it's kind of a burgundy but comes across on the eyes as more of like a plummy brown. And there's a swatch of it right there. It goes on... Mm, excuse me. It goes on the eyes really really nicely and Makeup Geek shadows are so so blendable. I've been raving on about them for quite a while now for good reason because they're probably my favourite formula of eyeshadows especially for the price. So if you want to vamp up your makeup for full time and you don't know what colours to get, definitely invest in something like Bitten by Makeup Geek just because it works with every neutral eye look and makes it a million times more seasonally appropriate. And it's also good for Halloween tutorials as well, not gonna lie. Lastly for makeup I wanted to mention the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the concealer that I have under my eyes right now and I think my skin looks so flawless. I was kind of hesitant, hesitant to get this because I'd heard mixed things from people with dry skin. I've heard that it's not that creamy and that it's kind of more dry but I don't think that's true. I think it's a very thick creamy consistency but when it sets it sets completely which I really actually quite like because I don't necessarily feel like I always have to set it with powder. It doesn't really crease up on me but it blends out really really lovely and applies really lovely. I got mine in the shade Chantilly which I think is the lightest shade. Um, I'm fairly certain it was because the next shade up was the same as my skin tone and I wanted something to highlight with. So this is the only under eye concealer I own right now and it's the one I've been using in like every video, every time you see me wearing makeup I will have been wearing this for the past few months. I bought it in the airport on the way home from Thailand because I had some extra money left over, extra baht left over um, that I wanted to spend because it wasn't worth putting it back into pounds. But um, I really, I really loved it. I would, I would recommend this concealer to those of you who have serious under eyes to cover up because coverage is amazing. It's really creamy, really blendable and doesn't make my under eyes look too dry, which I have a problem with. So yeah, 
would recommend. Also my first NARS product, no, second NARS product. Before I move on to miscellaneous things, I want to mention a Lush item. And I told you guys that I'd hoard this, but I didn't include it in last month's favorites. I bought it at the end of September. This is the Goth Fairy Body Bar. What is it called? Shimmer Bar. It smells so good. All the writing's rubbed off, so I don't know what the fragrance of it is, but it's got like all different colours of glitter in it, gold, green, purple, silver, like all sorts of different colours of glitter on it. So what I've been doing with this is if I go on a night out and like my decollete, my shoulders are exposed, or my legs as well, I will kind of rub this all over my shoulders, my collarbones, and my legs to make me look shiny and glowy and beautiful, Um, because I do like highlighting my shoulders with a liquid highlight usually anyway to make me just look really healthy and radiant. But this is nice because it's specifically designed for the body. Try and like get some on my hand. I've got so much on my thumb. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it's just the sheen there. In person you can see all the different colours of glitter but on camera it just looks like a really nice sheen and that's how it tends to look from a distance which is why I like it. It's just really good at giving yourself a nice glow and it's also extremely moisturising in my opinion. So I definitely recommend going and checking this out before they stop stocking them because it is a Halloween exclusive. Although Lush do have other shimmer bars, I think this one's really kind of extra cute and special because A, it's goth fairy themed, it's Halloween themed, but also because of the different um, tonalities and the glitter and stuff. It's not just like a gold shimmer, it's like a multi-tonal shimmer and I, I really like that. Um, I have a candle which I only bought yesterday but I'm obsessed with it. Did I buy it yesterday? Day before? God knows. This is the Spiced Cinnamon Warm and Spicy Aroma Candle from Primark. And I love Primark candles, I've talked about them before, because they're just so damn cheap. This is only a pound for these little jar ones, and the bigger ones are like two pounds, which is super, super cheap. And if you get the ones that smell quite strong when you sniff them in the jar, then they generally smell quite strong um, when you burn them as well, which I really like. So, yes. It smells like exactly what it says it smells like. Spiced Cinnamon. I love it so much. It's so, so nice. Would recommend if you want to feel like you live inside of an apple pie. And the last kind of tangible thing I want to talk about before I start talking about movies is this um, pint glass that I got from Wilkinson's yesterday. Wilco's. It's shaped like a skull. I had a smoothie in it earlier so it might be slightly dirty still, although I did try and wash it. I bought it because it was shaped like a skull. Um, they had like mason jar style ones with straws as well, but I just thought that this looked like really cool and hardcore in the pint glass format. It's got like a bone kind of uh, handle as well, which I like. And this was only like £1.50, £1.70 or something weird like that. So if you want like goth Halloween themed decor, but you don't want to pay a lot of money for it, head to Wilkinson's right now and also Poundland. They have so many Halloween things for such cheap prices and I would definitely recommend if you want to kind of like have some cool skull shaped things just rocking around your kitchen or around your house. And it's real glass as well like it's not plastic or anything it is actually glass so it feels really heavy and kind of like it would last for a while so I'm really happy I'm gonna drink everything out of this. I can't wait to drink like red wine out of it. I think it'll look really cool. And the last few things I want to talk about are movies and TV shows and stuff. So I'm terrible at catching up with American Horror Story and I haven't been watching Roanoke because I haven't even seen Hotel yet but one of my favourites um, generally just in October is American Horror Story and I love re-watching it and catching up. I kind of finished the freak show season in summer and I loved that so much. I kind of had mixed feelings about it towards the beginning of the series but towards the end of the series I was hooked. So I would definitely recommend checking out um, American Horror Story if it's a series that you're not familiar with yet because if it is honestly like what's wrong with you you should know about it by now really. But I am super excited to finish up Hotel because it's not like that amazing at the moment but I have a feeling it might get a little bit better and I'm also super excited to finally start um, Roanoke. Roanoke. I have no idea what it's called. I am excited to start that as well especially now that I've heard Amer uh, Evan Peters is definitely in it. Yes. <laughs> Another favourite thing this month, which is so not spooky in the slightest, is Bridget Jones's Baby. I went to go see it with two of my housemates. It was awesome. Like, seriously, I love Bridget Jones and I was so scared that it was going to completely ruin the franchise for me. Because sometimes comeback movies are just absolutely terrible. But I thought it was really, really good. It was really clever and witty and funny. And the jokes in it were just as good as the originals. If you have a very British sense of humour, which I feel like I do and I know a lot of um, other British people have, feel like they have an extremely kind of like British specific sense of humour. I think you'd really really enjoy Bridget Jones's Baby. Colin Firth is as good as ever. It's just really really good, I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't want to spoil it for, for anyone but like it kind of ties up the series 
really, really nicely, and there's so many good jokes. I, I would recommend going to see it if it's still out in cinemas, or getting it on DVD when it comes when it comes out, or just pirating it. No, I shouldn't say that. that, that that's definitely illegal. Don't do that. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram, there will be links down in the description along with everything that I'm wearing and what's on my face right now. And don't forget to let me know down in the comments what your favourite things have been in the month of October. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!